I'm in the uh, the Welsh village of uh, Fistinyog, and, and uh, actually I've never been in that church and if I have time I might have a quick look inside it uh, when I finish the walk but I've parked just here in the centre of the village and uh, I'll continue on my walk Let's have a quick look at the village when I finish the walk I'll see how I go walked maybe about less than half a mile from the centre of the village and this is where I'll turn off Vliner Road <laughs> and there's Mallard Mauer uh, Ma over there in the it's um, it's about 70% cloud at the moment and I'm hoping it'll brighten up a bit because it always makes, makes a difference with the photography. It's a kind of a imposing dam up there. It, uh, it, uh, it's a reservoir, dam's a reservoir which uh, works a hydroelectric power station down in the valley. For a second or two looks like the sun's coming out and uh, it's beautiful countryside around here. Uh, Manad Maur and Manad Bach. Okay I'm about well a little over half a mile from the three quarters of a mile maybe from the village of Estonia. I can't quite see but <laughs> this looks a uh, kind of a Interesting, I can't pronounce it. Care play the country house on and sweet accommodation. Uh, it's uh, but I don't uh, go up that driveway, I, I go up here. There's a public footpath. It's a country house, can't see much of it. Uh, it's up there, everywhere is dripping wet because we have had quite a bit of rain, in fact there's been flooding in some places so I'm hoping I don't have to go through any undergrowth because uh, I will get soaked if I do There's a nice house there You can see how wet it is underfoot after all the rain we've had Okay, uh, this is the reason I did this chose this walk today because all the rain that's Affen Tegel there and there's a bit of a waterfall and that tumbles all the way down several hundred feet down into the, uh, the bottom of the valley so I'll be following a footpath lot, hopefully not too far from that uh, that river down to the uh, down to the bottom there okay uh, this is where I turned off. I've only just come a few yards down this little tarmac lane here. And uh, let's see how. I have been on this footpath before, and uh, but it was some years ago. I've come a few yards down this uh, grassy uh, path here, and that looks like an old mill. Uh, now a residence, of course. Uh, Tegel, I'm not sure how to pronounce, but that's why uh, I say I'm doing this walk. Is to uh, I like the sound of running water in these Welsh torrents. Okay, you see it's a well constructed uh, footpath uh, with the slight steps there. But uh, unfortunately, because it's wet underfoot, I'm always a bit uh, cautious because uh, I don't want to take a tumble, of course. Apparently, this is where I join the Snowdonia. Uh, slate trail uh, goes that way up towards uh, 
of Blinifus Jinyog and uh, down here of goes down the side of the river down to the bottom okay yeah uh, there's the river about a hundred feet below me and unfortunately it looks like I've got a bit of a uh, slippery section here going down oh well see how I'll go it's always better I'm always better going up up uh, these kind of uh, footpaths rather than down Continuing on the descent I seem to vaguely recognize this area uh, these uh, kind of like pines are uh, standard pines and it's uh, quite pleasant footpath uh, <laughs> at this stage this point point of the uh, proceedings anyway quite uh, to walk along quite reach over to see it but there's probably the most impressive waterfall on this stretch of the, the river uh, quite excellent uh, okay, there was a little side path which I took to see that waterfall as I say after heavy rain all this is uh, uh, a little bit uh, tricky underfoot for the likes of me for instance that little uh, uh, those planks there crossed uh, uh, kind of like like ice after when they get wet uh, extremely slippery so I don't think that many people there's a junction of paths here and uh, I'm not sure which way to go but I'll try this one another path just led to a pile of logs so uh, this is the this, this is the, the, the footpath here it's part of the Snowdonia slate trail and it looks like there's one or two uphill sections on it even though I'm supposed to be going down to the bottom of the valley okay, there's one or two spots of rain uh, I don't think maybe just a um, just a, uh, hopefully it won't come to anything more there are one or two showers around though uh, this is as far as I'll go down the uh, on the descent uh, this uh, junction of paths here this leads to a main road which then in turn leads to the bottom of the valley which so I won't bother with that there's a, a side tributary to Affan Eagle and uh, okay so there should be another footbridge just a little which crosses the main the main stream and the sun came out there's the footbridge ahead still part of the Snowdonia Slate Trail and Penguin Wood there's the footbridge and no chance of taking it yeah, down, that's it, nice wire nice wire grid so you don't have slippery planks to cross Okay, the easy part of this walk is over. Uh, and there's that uh, shower cloud over there. It's passing, going away from me. Luckily, you can see how wet it is underfoot after all the rain we've had. It's a good view of the uh, Vale of Fistinyog, and that's where the main road goes down there. So you have to go down the main road half a mile to get to the actual bottom of the valley. So I'll continue on my soggy uphill ascent here. I've just started it really, it's gonna, well, there's an old tumble down barn. It's gonna go up uh, quite some way. The Vale of Fistinyog. Well, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, it more or less is, yeah, the Vale of Fistinyog, I think. Uh, I think uh, Morwin Maur. Mowing back, I think. Um, yeah, Plan Fistinia is up there somewhere. Okay, so I just took a little few few feet to the side just to show that view. So I'll continue my ascent here. It looks like an old mansion there. I don't know if I do a little bit of trespass and have a quick close look at it. It's undergoing renovation. I better not go any further. There is someone at home there. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, yeah, a lot of someone's putting a lot of money into doing doing it up. Now, now it is down there. Uh, look at all this work that's been done. Yeah, so that might be it. Might be they might be planning to open a hotel unless someone's going to build another house there. Okay, so I uh, that slight just slight diversion there to stick my nose into what's going on and continue our uphill ascent here. This return footpath to the village. Uh, and so far, no problem. Because I don't think I've actually been on this foot. May have, I may have been on this footpath. I can't so long ago. Can't remember the details. But uh, so far, there's no no problem with it. Continuing on my uphill ascent. I can't see any signs of any foot, uh, footpath signs here. I just come through this uh, opening in the wall. But that's 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 a view I always like. The Mulwins. Uh right there is Mulwin back and uh Mulwin Maur and that uh well I can't quite remember the name of it, it's a lesser summit and Plan of Fistonig is just just out of sight over there. So to the uh map the footpath is over there, it looks like I can't get to it because there's a fence. So rather than climb over the fence I'll just descend a little bit down to that gate. This footpath, which is part of the Snowdonia Slate Trail, I've just uh, come up, uh, ends on this uh, tarmac lane here, which uh, is on the edge of the village of uh, Estinion. So actually, that was no problem at all. Uh, it was uh, a good footpath. That's where I came out onto the tarmac lane, and here's a typical set uh, uh, line of uh, terraced Welsh cottages, uh, almost certainly built for the when the slate quarries opened up in Barnfestiniog and round about. Okay, that's the end of this walk. There's the church, and uh, my car's parked right there. So. Um, but that uh, that building in front of me there is uh, well. It's now no well. It's been uh, well rebuilt. Basically, it was a pub, and uh, that's where my grandfather Tide Jones, <laughs> when he worked in the slate quarries, the uh, well the beginning of the 20th century, he uh, that's one of the pubs. No longer there, of course. Can't remember its name. Uh, he patronised. So I won't go around the, the village of Histoniog this time. I'll, I'll leave that for another time. Uh, so, uh, and I've been kind of lucky. There are showers around, but I've been kind of lucky. There's the local pub there. Sunday lunch, seven pound ninety-nine p.